Hey, 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 guys! Welcome back, welcome back to another Star Wars review. I know I'm not doing these weekly like I'm do like I've been like I'm supposed to do, but honestly, these movies are very long, and I have not been sleeping well lately. And uh, I could be doing these at night time, but I got people. I'm in the house with other people. So they can hear the TV going because these movies are loud and stuff. Uh, they're not like super loud, but they're a lot louder. They got a lot more action sequences and stuff in them. So it's a lot harder to, you know, watch them at night. That's why I've been having a hard time doing this. But after this, I only got one more Star Wars movie to do and I'm done. So, uh, yes, um, you guys know the drill. If you guys want to be notified for future videos, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you guys will be notified, notified for future videos. Now, I don't say this much, but remember, guys, if we get to this... Hold on. <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze there. Um, as I was saying, if you can get this channel to 300 subs, I'll be rewarding you guys with, with two reward videos. We're getting there. We're getting there. I think we're at 263 subs. I can't remember. I should have checked, but I kind of forgot to check. I ended up forgetting my medication into Lady's car. So, yeah, I could I I could not do anything there. I had to wait for her outside, so I hadn't had time to check. So, um, but yeah, I know I'm at least around there, so I'm getting very close. I think I have less than 40 subscribers before I get to 300 subs. So, so if we get to 300 subs, I will give you guys the two reward videos, because I'm looking forward to these. But, um, anywho, now that I got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into Star Wars. The Last Jedi. Now, um, I also got to state that I did not change the emojis out in this video. I forgot to do that, um, but I did get the rest of it right. I'm getting better at this. I think I'm getting a lot better at this, which is good, but I'm still forgetting it occasionally, but I'm getting better at this. So, yeah, anywho, um, now I got to tell you guys, 2017, this is the movie, this is the year this movie came out. 2017 was probably the absolute worst year of my entire life. I'm not going to I'm not going to go into too much detail, but let's say 2017 was really awful for me. Like it was really bad. Like there was a lot of bad things that happened that year and I was just going through so much depression, memory loss and all of that and it's nice that I had, like, Nintendo and stuff keeping me in company, you know, and all that throughout that year. Because that year was bad. Like, it was really bad. But, anywho, um, I don't want to go into too much detail about it. So, um, speaking of, you know, keeping me in company, this movie came out this year. And I went to see it in the theaters with my dad. I went to see it in the theaters back when it came out. Just like I did it with Road One, I think I did it with Force Awakens too. I think I remember seeing that in the theaters too. But I think I brought that up in my video. I just I kind of it kind of went past my memory because that was also a year that was kind of rough for me. But not as bad as 2017. That year was just terrible. But but uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it had some good moments in there, but, like, it was just, there was, like, hardly anything I could think of that was really great. Most of it was just decent at best, but, but, yeah, that, but we did go to see this movie in the theaters, and I gotta tell you guys, I was not the biggest fan of this movie when I first watched it. I was not the biggest fan. Yes, I was not the biggest fan of this movie. Yes, I was not. I, I went out in the theaters, I... And my dad was asking if I liked the movie, and I said no, and he got all upset at me because he spent a lot of money on the movie, and he's like, you know, if you're not going to like the movies, then why should I bring you to them? And I'm just I'm t telling them, I'm like, you know, I can go to a, a movie and not like it, you know? I mean, sure, it costs money to go, but, like, yeah, I had that little argument with him and all that, yeah. Me and him kind of butt heads sometimes, which is kind of funny because... We're not really, we don't really have much in common. We're really uh, completely different people, it feels like. But, I mean, we do have some moments where we do, we do have moments where we do spend time together. But, like, I just, it's like, I just, I mean, a teacher did the same thing in school. Like, uh, we, 
Like when I was watching, we watched one of the Disney movies, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, um, the movie about, like, uh, like Scrooge and stuff. Uh, I remember the movie being very boring and all that, and, uh, the class thought so too, and the teacher got upset at us because it, she's like, if you're not gonna like it, then, you know, you're not gonna like it, then, then I won't let you guys watch movies anymore. So, I just wanna let you guys know there's gonna be movies that the people are not gonna like. Just don't be all rude about it. But yeah, I did not like the movie watching it, and uh, I decided, you know, because I'm going doing this for reviews, I might as well watch it again, because, you know, I was going to do that, because I watched The Force Awakens, and I watched the other Star Wars movies. So is this movie as bad, is this movie as bad as, uh, as it, um, is it as bad as it, as it was when I first watched it, or has it gotten better, or is it worse? Well, I hate to say it, but this movie is honestly about the same. Yes, I actually feel the exact same way I felt watching this movie in the theaters. I feel exactly the same. I do feel exactly the same. I feel exactly the same, though. But yeah, I feel exactly the same as I did when I went to watch it the first time. The movie is, is just a big mess. Like, I, ha I had a hard time really following exactly what the hell was going on watching this movie. Now, do I think it's awful and like horrible, horrible? No, no, I, I think some people were just very pissed when they went to see this movie and all that. I don't think it was the worst thing ever, but I still don't think it's the worst, but it has a lot of flaws, a lot of flaws. One example is, I can tell you guys, like, like one example I gotta tell you guys is the pasting. The freaking pasting feels off in this movie, it feels way off. Like there's one, there's one moment where Luke's, Luke is, because when, when Ray finds, Luke's, Ray found Luke in the last movie. But Ray, Ray found, finds Luke, she finds Luke and like, Luke's asking where's Han at because she saw she she was with um, he saw he she was with you know Chewie and the the Lumen Falcon and all that. It just cuts to like the the, the other plot, and I'm just like, why does it cut like that? It just it cut it just cuts like that, like to like, and then they don't even bring it up again. They don't freaking bring it up again. Like it just. I mean, yeah, they bring up, like, Ray being upset at Kylo Ren and pissed at him for killing Han Solo. They bring that up quite a bit, but, like, Luke doesn't freaking talk about it again. They just freaking, like, pretty much just dodge it. And it takes forever just to get to the Luke and Ray scene. Because the thing is, the, the thing is, is it's just... If they start out, you know, like, like, them with battling something in the sky and all that, which... I'm kind of confused why they just are suddenly in a battle. Like, you can tell this movie is directed by someone else. I think it's Ryan Johnson who directed this movie, not J.J. Ab Abrams. You can tell that he directed it because it's... it's and that's not directed by A.J. Abrams because the movie, it feels like... It feels completely different. Like, it's trying to tell a different story because, like... Like, you know, like, basically, um... Like they, they had, they're just suddenly fighting these these guys in the sky and all that, you know. Despite despite that, like the movie literally left off with them going to find you know Luke Skywalker, like Ray fighting Luke Skywalker. It should have started with that. It should have started with that, and then had them get tracked down by. It should have had them get tracked down by you know they were the, by the, the separatists and they're fighting them. That should have been how it went. But it doesn't go like that. And this is not the only pasting problem. There's also freaking a pasting where, like, Luke Luke Skywalker is basically not wanting to help Ray. And he's, like, walking. And they, they do this for, like, a fr like, freaking five minutes. They do this where Ray is, like, following him and all that all over the place. And then you got, like, him. By the way, this is gross. I think this is disgusting. Now, I know women, you know, feed their kids and all that. I know it's kind of silly talking like that, but they do. They feed their kids. We, they feed their kids, you know. 
But, like, I, I just hate how, like, Luke Skywalker is getting milk from this freaking alien. It just, it's just so gross. It's a freaking gross scene. And, yeah, they finally get to the plot. And, like, but by, by the way, I didn't say, state that. I didn't state that, like, Luke Skywalker is basically. Well, I didn't state that Luke Skywalker is basically, um, like, basically out of character here. Yes, he's out of character. I wasn't sure what to think about it because I haven't seen the movie since it came out in theaters, which is back in 2017. I think that was like, what, five years ago? Five, maybe? No, like, that was six years ago. Well, about five and a half years ago. Yeah, five and a half years ago is what it was. But it was close to six when I went to see it, and I forgot a lot about it. But I do remember people complaining about Luke Skywalker being, you know, being this, you know, this this man, you know, this man who's just like a bum and just like depressed and all that, and, and gives up all hope. And heck, he even goes. He, they even say he goes to the point where he wants to kill him, like he wants to just die. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. They, he literally fucking says that. He, he just wants to just stay there and just die. That is fucking depressing. That is depressing. That is not the Luke Skywalker we know. That's not the Luke Skywalker we know. The Luke Skywalker we know is is the you know Luke Skywalker who uh, well the Luke Skywalker we know is the the Luke Skywalker who you know who had who had you know anger problems like well not well, anger problems but he had problems where he questioned things and stuff but like where he couldn't see and all that but he wasn't like a he wasn't a coward who ran from the Republic and just hid on this planet apparently he was teaching Jedi and Kylo. <laughs> and Kylo Ren just was, was was one of his students, and and Kylo Ren basically turns on the dark side because Luke tries to kill him in his sleep because he sees darkness inside of him. So I'm like, I'm like, why, like, why would Luke do that? We're, we're talking. I mean, even Ray brings it up. Like Luke, Luke is basically. The, the same person. I don't even know how Ray knew that since Ray didn't even know who Luke Skywalker was. She said she th he thought he was a myth, a myth in the first movie of the sequel throw. She said, "How did she know that?" But she somehow knows now knows that Luke was was the one who told um who who saw goodness in Vader. But just it's just like that throughout the entire movie, and it's just stupid. It's stupid how freaking Kylo Ren turns into this, to this bad guy. Because because someone tried to kill him. That's just fucking stupid. And that's not the stupidest thing. I mean, there, there's there's stupid ways people can turn evil in shows and movies, but it's still stupid. Like maybe maybe it could have been different. Maybe he had disagreements with the he had disagreements with you know with Luke Skywalker or something. Maybe. Maybe, or something like that. Maybe he had disagreements with the Republic, like Anakin did, and Anakin got blinded by hatred and turned to the dark side. It could have been like that, but no, it's because freaking Luke tried to kill him in his sleep, which doesn't make sense, because Luke would have never done that. And I was told that that Luke ch changed his mind. He, he changed his mind. No, he didn't. He didn't change his mind. He, he, I was listening closely, watching the movie. He actually was going to actually try to kill him. Which is freaking stupid. It's just stupid. Like, I, I just think there's just a lot of moments here that are just stupid. And although Luke finally decides to help Ray. I don't feel like they, I feel like they focus on the training for like one scene and then they just, and it's over. Like, I kind of wish we would have had more training, you know? Because when wait, 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 Yoda was training Luke, we had a lot more, a lot more scenes with it. Here, I think it lasts like five minutes and then the training's over. But yeah, the training's like over and all that, so I don't really know. But I don't. I really don't. I really don't get. I really don't get that at all, though. But speaking, speaking, speaking of you know other problems I have with this movie, I also gotta tell you guys the the, the villain, the villain from the last movie. I don't remember his name, but he shows up at the beginning of the movie, being all tough and 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 screaming on top of his lungs, you know, at the men. They kind of treat him as a joke in this movie. Like what one scene, like. 
Snoke just like dra drags him across the, the floor and all that, turns him around and all that. I'm just like, it seems kind of funny, but it doesn't feel like, it's not, it's not like awful, but it's like, that doesn't feel like Star Wars. It doesn't feel like so something Star Wars would do. And I mean, I understand that this is Disney Star Wars, but still, this just feels way out of place. And they can have jokes in Star Wars that make them funny, but that just seems kind of stupid, you know? That seems like something that Johnny Test or the Fairly Operant would do, or SpongeBob. Not something that, that, that this show would do, you know? Or this movie would do. But I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like he's treated as a joke in this in this movie and all that. He doesn't really serve much of a purpose. But I don't, I don't know. I just feel like he doesn't serve much of a purpose at all, really. But yeah, I just don't really, I just don't really, you know, get, get that. And then like, and then we, and then we also got, and then we also get like, th this is probably like where the where the um moment of the movie probably really gets to me. But the the, the movie the movie like honestly it sounds like it's already bad enough, but it gets worse. Like it gets freaking worse. Like <coughs> it gets worse. Basically, we also get moments where freaking Leia, Leia and the other characters are just running away from the fight. Yes, they're just freaking running away from the fight. And Poe, Poe is being the right person here. And, you know, Poe is just, like, try, trying to you know, fight them because, you know, they, they freaking cost a, a, a lot of people lives because they freaking ran away. And freaking Leia just fucking slaps Poe across the face. It's just fucking stupid. Like, it is just so stupid. I mean, we're talking about the damn Republican. This is the fucking Republic. These people are supposed to fight. Sure, they, they fucking lost people in the past. That's the reason why they're running away in this movie. It's because they lost people and all that. And they, they fucking lost people before. They lost people before. That, that's, just, that's just how it goes. It's sad. I mean, it's sad. You know, in wars. It's sad when we lose people. But... But, you know, that's the thing. We just keep fighting. We don't just fucking run away, you know, like cowards. I mean, I'm not, I don't go to war myself. I can't go to war because I, my sensitive ears and all that, and you know, my disability, but, so I don't know what it's like being in war, but, or being in the military in general, but, but I do know that people don't just fucking run away like cowards. It's fucking stupid. And they just do that. And then also, this is something else that's stupid. Leia gets fucking blown out, up out of the ship. She gets blown up. And they fucking, like, use, she uses the force and fucking pulls herself back into the ship. She fucking pulls herself back into the ship and, like, she's just fine. She's in a coma despite that she fucking was awake doing the damn force. Unless it put her to sleep because she fucking used too much energy. I don't fucking get it. Basically, I get, I get, I get this, at this point, we're just fucking doing whatever we want with the force, you know? Who cares about fucking physics and, and all that in Star Wars? Who gives a fuck, you know? I'm like, we can just do whatever the hell we want with fucking the Force because we're fucking Disney and we can do whatever we want because George Lucas ain't in charge anymore, you know? I don't fucking get, get that at all. This isn't the only time they use the Force for a stupid way. Like, Luke fucking uses the Force to, like, teleport his, like, spirit or whatever the hell it is to, like, the... the at the end of the fight to fight Kylo Ren... I mean, it's cool he's using it to stall them and escape, but, like, why Why does he, you know, why does he, you know, use the force and stuff to, like, like, like how does that even work? Like, he's fucking using his spirit and all that. I don't get that. It's just fucking stupid. It's just fucking stupid. Like, it really is just stupid. I just don't get this at all. I don't get it. I just don't fucking, just don't fucking get it at all. And, and they, they just keep... And they just, you know, they keep doing this shit throughout the entire movie and all that. I just, I don't understand this at all. I don't understand any of this. This is why it's kind of just confusing to watch, but. But yeah, speaking of, you know, Luke, you know, I told you guys Luke is at the end of fight. But the reason why Luke Skywalker actually goes back to, to, to train Ray, like, decides to train Ray is because of a message played by by, by, um, R2-D2, I'm like, that convinced Luke to, to turn back, that was enough to convince Luke to turn back and, and help Ray. like, I don't really get that, like, how is showing that message by R2-D2, 
enough to do that. Speaking of R3, R3 is pretty much forgotten in this movie. Like, he's just fucking forgotten. Like, he's in, like, one scene with Luke, and he's, like, gone. And we never see R2-D2 again. Like, what the hell? I really don't get that. I, I really don't. I really don't get, get that at all, but... I, I don't get any of this stuff. It's just it's just all confusing. Like it is all very very confusing. And and I I, I know I know that like you know again like it, there's gonna there's gonna be stuff that's gonna be a little bit different because it's owned by a different company that's not owned by George Lucas anymore. But but the, but I hate hate how they fucking destroyed all this these, this stuff here that that George Lucas made. I hate that. And he was supposed to be directing the. the the sequel trilogy. He was supposed to be directing it, but they, they, they threw his ideas in the garbage and lit him on fire, is what they did. They lit his shit on fire and basically told him they're going to do it our way. Despite that, George Lucas made it, had a deal with them, so he had a deal with them and all that, so they kind of just gave him the middle finger. They, 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 he, he trusted them by them buying up his properties and they fucking give him the middle finger and they, they just kick him out. So it's really sad what Star Wars is here. It's sad, like, what happens to this franchise. But despite this movie being having a lot of problems, it does have some moments I do like about it. Yes. The lightsaber battles suck in this movie, but I will admit that I do like... I do like, you know, the fact that, like, we do get, you know... Ray's visions and all that with Kylo Ren, her talking to Kylo Ren through her visions, that's pretty cool. That's actually something they did in the original trilogy. They, they, they did that in the original trilogy. They talked through their visions. That's what Darth Vader and Luke did. And then they also had, you know, then they also had, you know, like, I do like I do kind of like Kylo Ren. He's a pretty interesting villain. I was worried they were going to kind of destroy him in this movie, but nope, he's actually still pretty decent. He's just not as good. He'll, he'll, he's not as good as Darth Vader. Darth Vader is probably never going to be beaten by Kylo Ren, but I still think he's all right. I think they at least make him a bit better, but I'm sad that Snoke had to be a dick to him and wouldn't let him wear his mask because his mask was really cool. But yeah, his mask was still pretty cool, but I don't know. But overall, though, I, I don't know. There, there's only a few things I can think of about this movie that are actually, you know, decent. Now, a lot of the crap is just frustrating and just all over the place. I have to say this movie is getting a bad in 16 points. Yes, yeah, 16 points. Now, um... Now, I know I basically um, don't have my score sound effect. I still haven't got that done yet, but I'm working on that. I just, I actually forgot about it this time around, but I'm wanting to get my score thing back. But, but yeah, so I basically, though, um, I gotta say, though, yeah, I, um, I just I had, I had very low, like, low hopes for this movie going in, and I still feel exactly the same coming out of it as I did in the theaters. Surprisingly, it didn't get worse or better. It just stayed exactly the same, which is funny because usually movies I watch either get worse or better. But this movie is just just dog crap. It's just it's just bad. Like it's not the worst thing I've seen. I think people are a little bit hate hate a little too much, but I don't think it's good. I think it's still a, a bad movie, and I definitely can see why people do hate it. But I just don't think it's the worst thing Disney's ever made. I mean, they made Lightyear. That movie was a fucking dumpster fire. But this one, at least, they have you know, good action sequences. And the characters, although most of them are freaking unlikable, especially Princess Leia and the, the Republic because they fucking run away from the, the, the bad guys, I still find this movie to be, be better than Lightyear, which is good. I don't think this movie is great. I think this movie still got problems, but I don't think it's as bad as as Lightyear or Epic or or even Brave, you know. But I haven't really seen a lot of horrible movies, so we still got DreamWorks and Sony to go. So who knows? Maybe those movies will be worse than this. I don't know. Or this movie could be worse. I don't know. But I still don't think this movie... I, I'm still going to have to give this movie a pass. I don't care about this movie at all. I really don't. 
But I guess you guys can let me know what you guys think about this movie because I, I don't have much else to say. I really don't. I just, I was totally lost watching this movie. I was lost. I could not keep up with the story and all that. It's just like, they, they, they basically go, I feel like they're, they're going and running away from the Republic and Poe's trying to go back to it, like go, go and fight. And then they, then they freaking, then they freaking turn around and go and fucking fight the Republic. I mean, the, the, I mean, the, the separatist anyway, you know, like, what, what made them turn their minds around, you know, I don't know, but this movie I hear is just, it's just bad. Like he was received horribly. Where, where, like, Force Awakens was, was mixed reviews, this movie was more towards aimed, received bad. There were still a lot of people that liked it, but a lot of people, like, over probably half the people hate this movie. And then we got The Rise of Skywalker. I mean, yeah, The Rise of Skywalker. That movie I hear is the absolute worst of the trilogy, but I don't know, maybe it'll be good. I don't know, because I have not seen that movie. I, I kind of dozed out on Star Wars after The Last Jedi. It's like, you know what, I'm just, I'm just fucking done with this. I'm done with Star Wars. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. But, anywho, you guys can let me know down your, th th your thoughts in the comments below. And also, I didn't bring this up, but I forgot to, um... Forgot to make, make like add the thumbnail to um my previous Star Wars review, so I have to do that too. But I'll do that here in a little bit because my phone's almost dead. But anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and let things go from here. See you all next time. Bye bye.